homegirl has a YouTube channel. <laughs> Can you see the excitement? The excitement is because I've been contemplating doing this for the longest, longest, longest time. And I'm so happy that I'm finally, finally doing it. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome and thank you for being here. Wow. Anyways, this is a gift. And uh, this is my YouTube channel. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This is so surreal. I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for the longest time. The longest time. But I've just, I don't know, I just have not started. I don't know why. Anyway, so I was just like, you would not know until you start. So here I am starting. Let's get into it. As the name of the video, the title of the video is Get to Know Me. So so i did uh, a get to know me tag a couple of months ago yeah months ago on instagram and facebook so people can ask me questions and then i will select questions that i would come and introduce myself on my youtube channel right and i got a couple of questions i didn't even expect to get a lot of questions because i was like i don't have a large following on instagram that much so i was hungry was shocked and surprised it's like, oh, okay, people really want to know. Okay. Let's get into it. <clears throat> the first one is, where are you originally from? I don't know if this person is asking me the country or the person is asking the town. Uh, I am from a small town called Ondangwa in Namibia. This is like the northern part of Namibia. It's basically just 60 kilometers towards the border of Namibia and Angola. That's where I'm from. Nothing happens in Ndangwa. Nothing exciting happens in Ndangwa. But I don't know, for some reason, people that are from Ndangwa just love Ndangwa, myself included. Anyways. Uh, and then somebody asked, did you leave Namibia permanently? Well, um, so maybe I should have said this at the beginning of this video. I'm a Namibian upcoming YouTuber. Oh, wow. How did I forget? People never forget. This is the first thing people say. I'm an upcoming Namibian YouTuber, currently living in Bath, England. Uh, that's where I'm shooting this video from. I should have said that at the beginning. Oh, snap. <laughs> Guys, I'm learning. Okay? I'm learning. Forgive me. I will get better. I would honestly get better. Anyways, let's get into it. So this is why I'm, I'm talking about this. Because of the question that I got about, did you leave Namibia permanently? So I needed to give background on what this question meant, right? And no, I have not left Namibia permanently. I just, I'm just here on a student visa, basically. All right. Uh, and then the other question that came up is, is Gift your real name? Yes, Gift is my real name. I think this person asked because in Namibia, you have basically the name Gift translates to Magano. So there are a lot of people that are called Magano, but I'm not called Magano. My name is not Magano, it's just gift. It's like that on my birth certificate, it's like that on my ID and my passport. It's gift, right? Okay. It is my real name. And uh, somebody also asked, um, what are you passionate about? Well, I'm passionate about a lot of things. I'm passionate about like gender equality, not just the word, but effective gender equality man if i go explaining the gender equality that i live to see this video will not end i'm passionate about human rights i feel like the one thing that we all owe to ourselves and owe to society is just be decent human beings you get what i mean like judge not and you shall not be judged or Treat the person as a person before you, I don't know, but I, I'm really passionate about human rights. And then I'm very, very, very passionate. So I'm a teacher by profession. So I'm very passionate about teaching and education in general, not just content and classroom, it's like holistic education. People need to be taught about human rights. People need to be taught about uh, equality. People need to be taught about like, sustainability people need to be taught about like we need to create a society where people are changing we create sustainable social change all right Those are the things that i'm passionate about and then uh, the other question that i got is what are your top three 
bucket list travel destination. Well, I love to travel. I like to travel a lot. But with me, traveling isn't about like sipping cocktails, laying by the beach. Don't get me wrong, I like that. But that's not the traveling that I like to do. My love of traveling is immersing myself in the culture, meeting the local, living like the locals. So top three travel destination is China. I really want to go to Hong Kong or Beijing, doesn't matter. Any just big city in China. That's number one. Number two, I want to go to Rwanda. Uh, number three is either Egypt or Morocco. Those are my three top three travel destination. All right. And then the other question is three things that you love about yourself well i'm an advocate for self-love love you first you can't pour out of an empty cup so if you do not love yourself you cannot love other people that's my motto so what are the three things that i love about myself number one is the fact that i'm highly ambitious i'm very very ambitious and do homegirl tries anything and everything to just succeed and achieve right that's number one number two i love that i am the most one of the most open-minded people that you've ever met i'm really really open-minded and i'm really uh i'm really open-minded and i'm the least judgmental person you can ever meet we have too many judgmental people in the world and I don't know it's just it's just not me i do not have a judgmental bone in my body people must do what people must do i i just feel like as long as you're not hurting the next person do you man and then the other the third thing that i love about myself is my relationship with god and when i say my relationship with god i know what god has done in my life and in other people's lives i know what he's capable of and i know that if I go to him directly and I ask, he delivers. And that I trust and believe. I have seen it work and it works. So that's the one thing that I love and nothing can come between me and my faith. One thing you cannot live without, I cannot live without my faith. That I've said again more than once. Um, top three favorite things to do. This will be very funny because... I'm a very picky eater, right? I do not just eat anything. Like a lot of things that people like to eat, I do not like. I love to cook the food that I like. And I think I'm a really good cook and I enjoy cooking when it's not a duty, when I'm doing it just because I want to do it. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing that I like to do is to travel again the journey i enjoy the journey not the destination uh in the sense that whether i'm traveling by plane whether i'm traveling by car i enjoy just the whole being on the road the stopping going to like a service station or just stopping at like a rest stop to take pictures just the whole the packing to get ready for the journey i like that i like that even when i'm flying i do not enjoy direct flights i want like the flight that has like a layover then i get to chill at the airport just you know i like that the excitement of just packing and sorting out like immigration things checking just the whole hustle and bustle of traveling i love that i really 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 do and then the third thing that i like to do is shopping guys i will shop until i drop i will shop until i will shop i like to shop guys i even like accompanying people when they shop without me buying anything if somebody is going shopping whether it's groceries it's clothing it's makeup it's even building material i just enjoy shopping so those are the three things that i enjoy doing all right uh so coming to the end of this video this is one thing that you should know about this channel so this channel i will firstly share my life the things that i get up to in my life uh interactive videos 
and then secondly is i'll give you like i'll have like story time where i share stories of things that i have experienced because guys homegirl has lived i've lived guys <laughs> and i've experienced things so i'll come on here and just share stories about that so those are the two things i hope really i really hope you enjoy those videos and the other thing is i don't really like long videos so I'll try especially like the stories and stuff i'll try to keep them at least 10 minutes or less and then maybe like the lifestyle like the travels the whatnot the, the activities those ones i'll try to keep them like at 15 just not make them too long so i can still keep you guys engaged and stuff like that so we come to the end of this video somebody asked are you starting a youtube channel so the answer is yes i have started a youtube channel and this is my first video so please if you're still here please subscribe subscribe to my channel help a girl grow her channel guys like this video put in the comment section the areas that i need to improve and how to make this channel better that's one two put in the comment section what type of videos that you would like to get from me three please share this channel with your friends your colleagues your friends friends your family just so they can subscribe and you can grow the channel please please and thank you thank you for being here this long <laughs> don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share like and comment bye